A major development today in the fight against cancer, the FDA approved the first therapeutic vaccine for the disease. It's called Prevenge, and as we reported earlier this week, it could help as many as 100,000 men with advanced prostate cancer. CNN's Dr. Sanjay Gupta is the CBS News contributor. Sanjay, I know vaccines have been studied for a while now, so this is really significant, isn't it, that one has finally been approved? There's no question about it. And, you know, this is all sort of uh, based on this idea that you can harness the body's own ability, their, their own immune cells, to try and fight all sorts of different diseases, especially cancer. The treatment will be tailor-made for each patient. Immune cells will be taken from a patient, they'll be shipped to this lab in New Jersey, and mixed with a protein found in prostate cancer. Those immune cells now primed to attack the cancer will then be shipped back and injected into the patient to help the body fight the tumors. Cancer immunotherapy represents a whole new era of medicine and will stimulate a tremendous amount of interest in the field. According to data submitted to the FDA, patients taking Provenge had their lives extended by about four months. The treatment's gonna be expensive estimated between fifty and hundred thousand dollars. What Provenge gives patients is the opportunity to do the things they want with their lives. They could travel with their loved ones, they could experience birthdays, anniversaries, attend weddings. Now, you know, they do call this a vaccine, but it doesn't prevent prostate cancer. In fact, it's for patients uh, whose cancer has already spread, so a very a specific population, Katie. And I know there are some skeptics out there in the cancer community who wonder just how affected this particular vaccine will be. You know, what's interesting about this is that they only looked at one measure, and that was does it prolong survival, and, and it did about four months. They didn't look at tumor progression, they didn't look at shrinking tumors, and you know, oncologists, cancer doctors want that sort of information before they say they're ready. Having said that, vaccines may in fact be the wave of the future, I know that, with melanoma, brain tumors, etc. And, and other, and maybe even HIV they talk about. All right, Dr. Sanjay Gupta, great to have you. Thanks, Thanks Sanjay. Katie.